Hi, in this video, we're going to be going over a financial math question from the IB Applications and Interpretation SL exam paper one from May 2024, time zone one. All right, so let's begin. In this question, we have somebody who deposited $100,000 into a savings account. We don't know the interest rate. We do know it's compounding monthly for eight years, and we know that that final value here is $150,000 and it's asking us to find I. All right, so we do know that we have a formula for this, but the IB exams, especially applications and interpretation, pairs really, really well with the TI-84 calculator, and that financial solver can really help in this question. And that's what we're going to be using for this particular question. So as I mentioned before, he's starting off with that $100,000, and that's going to be our present value. And that $150,000 is the final value. So we have PV and FV. And our number of time periods, we have eight years, but it's compounding monthly. So there are eight times 12 months. And so all of this is very important. And so now we're going to go ahead and take out our calculator. And so this is very similar to the calculator that you have if you have that TI-84 calculator. All right, so here we have that information. Let's pull that up so we can see it. And in order to access our finance calculator, we go to apps. So apps is in that third row down on the left side right next to math. All right, so once we open up apps, we see TVM solver as our first option. And so we're gonna enter that. And now we go up to the top and we enter all the information that we just found in the question. And so eight times 12, we can actually put as eight times 12, or we can put the number there. And it was already 96 there. All right, we're being asked to find I. We don't know what I is, and we're gonna just put zero as a placeholder to hold that spot for now. And it looks like all the numbers were already in. So PV is 100,000. And so here is what I want to point out. This is a mistake a lot of people make or something a lot of people don't know. That previous value or one of those values, either the previous or the future value, should be negative. One has to be negative and one has to be positive for this to work. So I put my present value in as a negative number. And so that's negative 100,000. PMT is payments. No payments are being made from or to this account, so we leave that as zero. And our future value is $150,000. For PYCY, we just put 12 because monthly payments are happening. So that's the payments per year, and we put those numbers to match, 12 and 12. Once we have that all in, we go back to the thing we're trying to find, which is interest, and we press alpha and then enter and it tells us the percent we don't have to do anything else so just in case though you want to show your work it's definitely beneficial to write down the things you put in so n was 96 i we didn't know pv was equal to negative a hundred thousand then this just tells you greater what you put in for everything pmt equals zero FV equals a hundred and fifty thousand and PYCY were both twelve and we got our answer I is equal to five point zero eight when we round percent all right so let's go ahead and start the next part of this question all right, so part B is telling us that, and so let's read from here. It's telling us that he withdraws $150,000 and he places it in an annuity. And it's earning a nominal interest rate of 6.1, again, compounding monthly at the end of each month. And he will receive a payment this time. So this time there is a payment being made, so our PMT value won't be zero anymore. And it wants us to find the, find the final amount after a certain number of years, so 10 years. So I'll write this down as we go through the problem this time. So this time, 
or number of, uh, it is compounding monthly still, but it is for 10 years. So 12 years, sorry, 10 years and 12 months per year. And we can put that in for N. We do know the interest this time. And the interest is 6.1. And make sure when you put this in, it is the yearly interest. So 6.1% PV. Recall that we need to enter that as a negative number. So 150,000 PMT. This time there are payments being made. It is 1,000 PV is equal, oh sorry, FV, the future value, is something that we don't know. That's actually what we are trying to find, the amount remaining in the annuity at the end. So question mark there. And uh, let's go ahead oh, and see why PY, since it's still compounding monthly, is 12. All right, so now we can enter these values into our calculator in our TVM solver. Well, let's make sure we, there we go. And so going right back up to the top, we're going to replace that with 12 times 10, or we could have put 120. We do know the interest this time. Enter. There we go. Uh, 150,000, but enter that in as negative. PMT, 1,000. Future value we don't know, but let's put in a placeholder of zero. And PYCY is still 12. And so now we're going to find our future value. So we go to that spot, we press alpha and enter. And our future value is going to be 110,000 dollars. Well, 866. 1,010, 866 dollars. And since we're talking about money, and 71 cents. And that is our future value.